What's up guys, Learning with Rich here in this video. So let us create some section view and callout view. So these are the views that we are going to uh, place inside our sheet or the title block that we have created from our last video. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go to the uh, zero 02 floor. Okay, and then after that, let's create a section here. So from our quick access toolbar, so I will be using the sex, uh, section tool here. Click that one. And then for the section, just like what we have learned from our previous videos, all you have to do is to pick two points. So let's say I'm going to pick here the first point, and then I'm going to pick the second point here. And that's it. And then after that, select modify. So after I created that uh, section, which is section that is section one so let's change the name so it's here section one so you can rename here by right clicking and re selecting rename or you can click the section and then you can go also to the properties okay so let's say let's call that uh, main stair so main stair and then enter and apply and then there you go so it's now rename and then after that um to tidy up your stair or your section instead of showing it like a straight line here so let's say you don't want to overlap the line to our building elements so you can click the section and then you can break it so you can create a gap by clicking that icon and there you go so you can drag that so maybe you can put it there then you can put another point here. So again, this is up to your uh, preference. So it's up to you if you want to create a gap or not. So I'm just showing you that uh, option. So let's click again the section line. And then you can uh, you can also modify here the boundary. So let's say up to here. Or let's say up to here. There you go. And then after that, let's open up the section by double clicking the section head. Or just double clicking here on the project browser. There you go and then let us change it let's uh, modify the crop region so let us show these views here nicely all right and then let me just hide the section so i don't want this uh to be shown so i'm gonna click and right click that and then hide in view elements and then let's change the scale, or I mean the detail level. So let's make it that uh, fine. And then let us also change the the visibility of our crop region here. So just click this icon, hide crop region, and that's it. Okay, so now the next thing that we will be doing is we are going to create a callout. Okay, so from the view tab, we will be doing it here on our section view. So I'm going to select here callout. So you click that and then you need to select the type of the callout that you will be using. So since I will be using the callout for detailing, I will be selecting here the detail. So this call out that I will be creating will gonna be placed under the detail view uh, settings here <coughs> on my project browser okay so if I'm going to select building section or wall section the view will gonna be placed under the section but since I'll be using this for detailing I'll, I'm gonna select the detail here to click that okay and then let's say i want to create a call out for this area here so i'm gonna pick the first point and then i'm gonna pick the second point there and there you go then select modify so as you can see it's now added here it's under the detail views there you go and then maybe let's rename this one so let's right click rename and then let's call that a uh, typical column detail enter okay and then you can click the call out boundary and maybe you can click this blue or drag head to adjust your visibility or your the position of your call out bubble okay something like that 
So the reason uh, the reason your call out bubble here is empty is because the call out that we have created is not yet insert our title block or in inside the sheet. So same with your uh, uh, floor plan. So you will notice your floor plan. All the sections here doesn't have a detail. Okay, because the sections are not inserted inside the title block or the sheet. That's why it's empty. But once you ins uh, once you place these views inside the sheet, it will be populated. All right, so let's go back to our section wherein we created there our callout. And let's open up our callout. Let's double click the callout bubble to open up our callout. And there you have it. And then just make sure this is fine. And then you can also change there the scale if you want. The scale of your uh, call out view. So let's say I'm going to make that one fourth of an inch to one foot. And there you go. Again, um, let's hide the crop region. Just click that. And there you go. Okay. So basically, this is how you create your view. So in this exercise, we created our section view and our call out view, which we are going to place inside our title block or sheet on our next video. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.